My name is Ashley Morgan. I work at Biopharma Group and I represent the Avastin range of high pressure homogenizers. High pressure homogenization is a mechanical process and involves the forced passage of a fluid through a narrow nozzle or gap at ultra high pressures as high as, say, 30,000 or 60,000 psi. Homogenization breaks open the cells by forcing the cells through that small gap, and as they exit that gap, the drop in pressure causes stress forces such as shear and cavitation to break open the cells essentially. So here is the Avastin C3, which is one of the benchtop models. This operates at 3 litres per hour and allows a homogenizing pressure of up to 30,000 psi. So the C3 has a 250 milliliter sample cylinder, which feeds into a pump body here. This pump body is electrically driven by a remoter inside here. And as it feeds into the homogenizing valve, this is essentially the stage where it is forced through the small gap at a high pressure, at which point the homogenization is occurring. High pressure homogenization can be more effective than sonication or say enzymatic lysis due to higher protein yield at the end, but also in terms of cost from as you scale up, for example, things can become costly on the sonication and enzymatic lysis side. So in terms of efficiency and ease of use, homogenization is far more efficient. The technology minimizes temperature increase by including cooling coils or heat exchangers which would act as effective jackets and essentially nullify any increase from increased pressure. If you are processing bacteria, you may only require one or two passes and uh, bacteria such as E. coli may require 15 to 20,000 psi, whereas if you're working with yeast, which are a lot tougher in general, they would require pressures as high as 25 or even 30,000 psi, and the number of passes required would be, say, three, four, or even five passes. The range of optimal parameters for algae can range massively. 10 to 30,000 is quite a general range, but that's what we would go for here, and it would be very sample dependent. Mammalian cells, since they're much weaker, you would only require one pass and, say, no higher than 5,000 psi. The homogenization technology is entirely scalable, particularly with the Avestin range. The head geometry within the homogenizing valves remains very consistent, meaning that the process parameters are maintained from the benchtop to the production scale. So Avestin set themselves apart from other manufacturers in the fact that they have a dynamic homogenizing valve. This is able to move in accordance with viscosity and nullify any risk of blockage. So in terms of maintenance downtime and labour time, this is a very efficient process, whilst also maintaining a very high degree of quality. At Biopharma, we offer full sales and support from installation and training, service contracts and after-sales support, for example, if you are looking to process new parameters or samples. However, if you do have any new inquiries, please feel free to visit our website at www.biopharma.co.uk.